Hey everyone, Mr. Erdreich here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clear out a jam in your Prusa Mini by taking apart the extruder, putting it all back together, and getting your printer up and running once again. So there are a lot of different reasons why your printer might jam. Perhaps your Z-height is a little low, so you're grinding too close to the bed so the filament backs up, or the tension on the actual filament itself is a little too tight, so it grinds into it. Or maybe you're using old filament, so the filament expanded, it doesn't fit through the nozzle or the Bowden tube anymore. Nonetheless, let's take this thing apart and get your printer up and running again. So first we're gonna heat up our nozzle. So go into the temperature settings and actually set your nozzle to be somewhere between 200 and 225 degrees based on the type of filament you're using. 215 works great for PLA. Once hot, let's actually remove the Bowden tube. So we can actually just loosen up the retaining nuts to take the Bowden tube off of both the extruder and the nozzle. And then you should be able to remove any remaining filament that's in there using a pair of pliers if needed. Now at this point, while the nozzle is still hot, I like to clear out the nozzle and make sure that there's no jams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a piece of filament cut at a 45 degree angle, so it's nice and sharp, and push it into the nozzle and then pull it out of the nozzle. This should clear out any extra filament that's in there and make sure that there's no blockages. If this doesn't go well, you might need an actual new nozzle altogether because the nozzle itself could be worn or blocked. Now we wanna turn off the printer and then remove the extruder from the back. So using the three screws all around the extruder motor, you can actually remove the extruder. Make sure you're supporting it as you take out the last screw. From the other side, we need to actually remove three more screws. Once you can separate the extruder, we need to remove the bone gear that actually feeds the print filament. This might need a good solid tug. And then we have to get out any extra filament that's in there. So I usually have to cut the filament apart or use a pair of tweezers to pull it out from both the front end where the filament loads and the side that actually goes into the extruder. We need to clean out any filament dust, so you could use compressed air, or Scotch-Brite, Brillo pad, or whatever else you need. And we need to make sure that our bone gear is nice and solid. So I like to use a small pick in combination with some Scotch-Brite, a wire brush, or some compressed air to make sure that all the little teeth have no filament residue. Then we need to start to put this thing back together. So drop the gear back in and realign. Then use the three screws back in the same order we took them out to make sure that we can secure this print head back together. When you put the print head back on the printer itself, it's super important that it's aligned nicely. So I like to put in all three screws loosely, then go back around and snug them up. No need to over tighten, just make sure it's secure. You don't wanna strip anything or crack any plastic. Once installed, let's make sure that everything moves freely. So I like to open up my little window. I like to turn the gear, make sure that nothing feels like it's binding. We can get the Bowden tube back on and we need to make sure that our tension is adjusted correctly. Prusa recommends that the tension screw is almost flush with the plastic. So you should back this out pretty loose before loading your filament. It's time to reload the filament. Make sure that you can actually feed it in and that it grabs smoothly. While this is happening, keep an eye on the bone gear. Make sure that you can readjust your actual filament idler to make sure that it's not too tight. The filament should be feeding nice and smoothly. You also need to recalibrate your first layer. After putting this much stress on the nozzle, you should check everything. So I like to use the automatic calibration layer wizard, and then we can check to make sure that our Z height, or what we call the live adjust, is set and tuned correctly for our print. This will prompt the Prusa to actually automatically level using its temperature sensor and then go through a series of patterns that you can check to make sure that the Z height is correct. It should be just a little smushed, not too high, so that way when you run your finger over, it doesn't rip off easily. And that's it. Your Prusa is back up and running and should be printing as good as new. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for future tutorials and guides on my channel. And please don't forget to subscribe.